Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I'll show you how to delete files using the fancy file delete. Now, deleting files in Drupal isn't as simple as deleting an article or a basic page. Because files are attached via a field to content, they can't be simply deleted. And files have this status. When the file is used, the status is set to permanent, which means Drupal won't delete it. But then when you flag a file to be deleted, or the file is no longer used, then Drupal automatically sets the status to temporary. And then in about six hours, which is the default configuration, Drupal will then go ahead and delete the file at the next cron run. But sometimes you want to delete files straight away. So fancy file delete, as the name suggests, it is fancy. It allows you to delete files straight away. We have covered the file delete module which simply sets uh, the status from permanent to temporary, but you still need to wait the six hours or so for the file to be deleted. Fancy file delete allows you to delete files straight away from the UI. So you could, if you wanna allow your editors to uh, delete files, they could do it from the UI. Of course, you wanna trust them because you don't want them to just go in there and just delete all your content. Let's now take a look at fancy file delete. So the first thing I'll do, oh, by the way, if you want to learn more about the project, just head over to fancy, well, no, drupal.org slash project slash fancy underscore file underscore delete. So to get started, open up your terminal and then I will type in, what is it? Composer require Drupal slash fancy file and then delete. Let me just double check the path. Yes, that's correct. And then let's just give that a second or two, which will be re relatively quick. Another thing I should mention is that, is that the module has a dependency on views bulk operation. So here you can see that views bulk operation has been downloaded as well. So let's jump over to our browser. And then if we go to extend, and let's just give that a second and then search for fancy, and then let's go ahead and install the module. So give that a second or two, and you can see it's gonna also install views bulk operation, which you should already have on your site. It is a pretty fancy, oh, I don't wanna use the, fan, the word fancy too much, but it is a very useful module, this views bulk operation where you can batch delete files or any pieces of content and also change and save entities. Okay, once both modules have been installed, then if you go to configuration and then once you're on configuration, you should see this fancy file delete page. From list, if you've installed any, well, uploaded any files, they should appear here. So let's go ahead now and and add a few files. So I'll go to add content, article. I'll search for test article, chuck in a bunch of dummy text. Let me look at my collection of stock images, which I've created myself. Let's put this one in there. Product one, product one, and then click on save. And then if we give that a Second, you can see that our article has been created with our image. Now, if we go to configuration, go to fancy file delete, and then click on list, we should see our file which we just uploaded. I did mention that the module depends on views bulk operation, but you really can't see any of this views bulk operation functionality right here. The reason for that is we just need to make a few tweaks to the view. So this is an actual view. If we click on this pencil icon and then go edit view, and then click on views bulk operation, so this global file, all we need to do is click on select all. So let's just select both of them. And the most important one for us is this delete option, delete selected entities and then click on apply, and then click on save. 
once that is saved, we can see our options. So from here, we can go directly to the file. We can delete, we can batch delete using the file ID. So if you want to put it in there, you can batch delete. And then you have orphaned ones, which I'm not quite sure how this works because I looked at this view, the actual view and the query that appears. And this lists out all files where there's no file ID. So I'm not quite sure how this works, believe it or not. And unmanaged, I believe, means that if it's no longer managed in the file system, but it's still there as a, as a file in the managed files table. That's how I believe it works. But the two most important, important pages, in my opinion, is list and manual. So we can easily go ahead here and select it. Now, what I'll do is let me double check the table. So we can see here our table, which we just created. Perfect. And then we can see that it's a managed file. And then if we come along here and click on delete selected entities, and then delete it, it's gone ahead. It's deleted. And then if we come back to this table, you can see that it's no longer in the usage and it's also no longer as managed files. And then if we come along, let me just clean that up. If we come along to our terminal and then go LS, you can see that it's no longer there. So that is a quick way of deleting it straight away. One thing to be aware of is that you still have, if we search now, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of Drupal fields. Let me just double check this because I believe you'll still have, yes, you still have this field image, field image field referencing this entity. So luckily for us, Drupal's not going to, you know, cause a fatal error. If we go to this test article, you can see that it's no longer there um, because we deleted the file, but this file in the in the actual image field is still referencing the entity. So just be aware of that. Now I'm just trying to make sure where is it actually referencing? I believe is it here or here? Anyway, it is still it, it is still referencing the image. So what we can do is just come along here. You will see that uh, this file field looks a little funny because you don't have the description text, but if we save it, I believe, and then go back in and edit, you'll straight away see the description text uh, there. And then if we come here and refresh, this should be empty now because it's no longer there. All right, okay, good. Um, okay, so there you go. So just be aware of that. Now let's go ahead and upload another file. And what is this, product two? And then click on save. And then if we come along here in the database, we can see that it's now referencing this new file. If we go to, what is it? File underscore, file underscore managed, we can see the files there, okay. So now we're back to square one. We have an image. So if we go to configuration, and then we go to fancy file delete, we can see our file right here. We can see the file ID, we can grab this, and then go to manual, uh, put in three, and then just delete it that way as well. And then I believe if we refresh, it's gonna be gone from there as well. And then again, it's deleted from here. It's been deleted off the file system. And finally, let me show you one more trick you can do. So, well, if we go back to fancy file delete, you will see that there are these Drush commands. Well, let me zoom that in. Apologies for that, didn't, didn't zoom in the browser. There are these Drush commands, but if you want to, if you want to delete files using just Drush and, and you uh, do not want to use any, any of these modules, you can use a command called, now I did have it here somewhere. What is it? Um, Drush. Entity, oh, what is it? Entity file delete, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So it's called entity delete. 
but be careful, this can be used to delete any entity on the site. So you can see here that if you just type in Drush Entity Delete Shortcut, it'll, it'll just delete all the shortcut entities. If you were to type in Entity Delete Node, it'll just delete all of your nodes. So be very careful when you run this. I should also say, if you are gonna delete a whole bunch of files or do a large amount of file manipulation or any content manipulation, just back up your database before you, you do anything. That way you can roll back, simple. So let me show you how to use this command. So let's go ahead for one last time and, and edit this test article. And let me just save that because it's referencing the old article and sorry, the old image. And let's just edit this and let's grab our final file, which is product three image. And I'll add in some text three, click on save. And then if we jump over, well, let's jump over to this terminal. You can see that we have this product three dot JPEG, which is perfect. And then if we go to configuration and then let's grab the file ID. That's the most important thing. We need to grab the file ID and then go to fancy file delete, go list, we can see this, okay, so this is number four. And then all we need to do is type in, let me clear this, so it's right up the top, and then go file, which is the actual entity, and then the ID is four. And we hit that, and it's gone ahead and deleted it. And then if we do another LS, you can see that the file's been deleted. If we refresh in this, page, you can also see the file has been deleted. And last but not least, well, we didn't refresh this. So of course this is empty as well. So that is how you can delete a file using just Drush without installing any other modules. So it's up to you if you want to use um, fancy file delete, especially if you are simply going to use uh, the command line to delete files. But if you want to give editors the ability to delete files from the UI. Well, look at fancy file delete because it does allow you to delete files directly from the UI without having to wait, you know, the six, the, uh, six hours for Drupal to finally delete all of the temporary images. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you have watched, don't forget to head over to webwatch.net and also don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.